I'm so annoyed right now. <sighs> It's your girl Ashikli here and we are going to be doing this very nice spring dewy glowy very beautiful look and very simple look as well um i absolutely love the way that this turned out and i feel like this is definitely screaming spring time look okay springtime is here and i know it doesn't feel like it because we're in quarantine but Let's do what we can and, you know, just continue to make ourselves feel good during this time by doing your makeup, doing your hair, whatever it is. And, yeah, so if you guys are interested in seeing how to get this beautiful, glowy, dewy springtime look, then definitely keep on watching. What we're going to do, we are starting off with a fresh face. I have not lotion my face. I haven't done anything. So we're going to start from scratch and I'm going to be using the... Pond's Dry Skin Cream Facial Moisturizer. Now, this is my favorite moisturizer ever. When I say this is the only thing that I use on my face, and I use quite a bit because my face is really dry. So, so you wanna make sure that you are rubbing this in very good. And then drag the rest down on your neck. Our face is very nicely moisturized as you guys can see it's glowing just from this moisturizer when I say that this is the best that I've ever tried hands down if you are an OG then you know that I swear by this product you guys this is so good and it's super inexpensive and it's from the drugstore so why not right so I'm also gonna go in with the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe and lavender and we're just gonna do a few spritz of this on our face. All right, so if we are going for that glowy, dewy spring look, we need to prep our face in the way for our skin to be glowing and also the makeup. So the next product we're gonna be using to help with our prep is the Milani Prep and Brighten Rose Face Oil. And you guys know that I love this product. Just gonna take a little bit on our forehead. And then use your hands and rub this in. Okay, and next we're gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick in the shade Mars. And we're gonna take this on the high points of our cheeks. All the areas that we would normally apply our highlight to now, I know it looks really pink but it's okay we're gonna blend that into our face and you want to use whatever finger that you would like and you just lightly want to press and kind of move away so the most important part of doing your makeup is always the prep you want to make sure that you are prepping your skin to the best of your ability so that your makeup will come out looking flawless. All right, so now that our face is nicely prepped, we're gonna go in with some foundation. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover in the shade 330 Toffee. So I'm just gonna take a very light squeeze of this on my face. We want most of the product that we applied on our face to shine through the foundation as well and not just be covered up or whatever foundation that you're using you don't want to use too much of it this foundation also has spf in it so this will also give your face you know like that extra layer of protection as well as some glow to it and i know you guys are probably watching this video like girl you didn't even do your eyebrows. Like, what's going on? Let me know in the comments down below what order you do your makeup in. If you do your brows first or your foundation first. I'm a brow first type of girl, but, you know, we're going we gonna to switch it up a bit. Okay, and next I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 16. And we're going to take this and apply this on our areas that we normally highlight. So when going for that like dewy springy look, I personally like a bright under eye because I feel like it blends so well and nice, especially when that sun is hitting.
And we're gonna allow this concealer just to set on our face just for a few um, seconds, maybe about 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna go in and blend it out. And none of my beauty blenders are wet right now. That's like the most annoying part of doing makeup. You gotta get back up and wet your beauty blender. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and do that, and then I'll be right back. Alright, so we're gonna go in with our Real Technique sponge, and we're gonna start with blending our concealer out. Okay, so I, you guys know that I normally go in with my Airspun Loose Face Setting Powder, but I'm going to try this new, well, it's not new, but it's new for me, um, the Laura Mercier Invisible Loose Setting Powder. I usually um, use the Translucent Setting Powder, which is more so like a yellow tinted shade, but this one is like pure white, so I am a little nervous to try this, but I want to try it because I paid for it, so... I'm going to dip it into the beauty sponge, blow it off, and then just go in and use this to set my concealer. Okay, don't, don't look that bad. It was at this moment that I knew I messed up. Feel like I just ruined my whole face with this powder. I feel like it is just breaking up my makeup. That was a fail. I probably will not be using that powder again. What I'm gonna do is go in with my airspun over that and see if this can kind of like bring everything back together. Okay, and we're just going to allow the powder to sit on our face a bit. I'm going to go in with the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Deep Tan. And we're using a powdered bronzer today only because I feel like when you're going for like a springy look, you don't want to use a lot of product. You just want to use enough. So you want your makeup to look like skin and not like baked on layers of layers of um, product. So I'm also going to go in with whatever's left on this brush and I'm going to dust this brush over the areas that I applied the powder to. No, you guys, it's ruined. I feel like it's separating and it's all because of this stupid powder. I'm annoyed. So I'm going to show you guys what's happening. Okay, first of all, I don't know if you guys can see, but right here it's like super splotchy, which means that all of the products is like separating. Can you guys see that? Look over here. Like horrible. Horrible. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed right now. <sighs> I'm gonna go and fix this and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I decided to show you guys how I am going to go in and fix this. Um, I kind of, I want to be real, okay? Sometimes when we do our makeup, sometimes it doesn't turn out how we want it. So there's no other choice but to start over. So what I did was I just went in with a makeup remover and I just wiped away the areas that I applied the powder to and then I redid my base and now I just went in with the foundation. So we're going to do a little retake but it's okay. I'm showing you guys the process of how I'm going to fix this. So in case anything like this ever happens to you, you know what to do. This is real, okay? This is real life right here. Dust yourself off and try again, okay? <laughs> so 
so now we are back to the point where we messed up the last time we're not gonna make that mistake again okay <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my airspun loose face setting powder in the shade translucent extra coverage and we're just going to lightly press this on the area yes oh. yo what is going on <laughs> now we don't want to bake mainly because we're going for that dewy look so applying too much powder is going to dry our face out so you just want to apply and press apply and press and once you look at that you guys skin looks great everything looks great so that right there is the epitome of just because it costs more doesn't mean that it's the best right <laughs> So now I'm just going to go back in and touch up my bronzer again with the NYX Matte Bronzer. Going to dust back over our cheeks. And then we're going to go in with that powder on the sides of our nose. Whoa, now that's a contour. <laughs> I'm going to go in with some of my foundation brush and I'm just going to lightly tap this over my nose just to tone down the contour just a little bit. Alright, so to add more of a bronzy look to our face, I'm going to go in with the Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Soleil. I want you guys to look at the shade of this bronzer. It is so beautiful and it has some pigments of shimmer in it and I think it's just going to add a great finish to this look. It has like little specks of gold and shimmer in there which is so dope and so pretty. For blush we're going in with the ColourPop Super Shock Chic Matte Blush in the shade Over Dramatic and I think that this blush color is so Super subtle but still very pretty. We're just gonna lightly dust this over our cheeks. Okay, so now to set our powders in place, I'm gonna go in with the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I feel like this specific spray definitely gives us that dewy look that we want. It adds a bit more moisture to our face and it just has it looking super fresh so that's why I went in with this one. Okay so right now we're going to go ahead and first of all I'm just going to pounce this beauty blender on my face just a little bit just to help that spray set into my skin a bit better. Now we're going to go ahead and finish up. Now we're going to go ahead and start our brows. I'm going to use the Kiss Top Brow Brow Cream in the shade Ebony. Y'all, please don't stare too hard at my brows. I haven't done them yet, and I really should. It's just that you guys know we're on quarantine, so everything is really, you know, kind of difficult to do right now because we have to do everything by ourselves. Honestly, though, my hairs are, like, all over the place, so makes it a bit difficult to, you know, keep them looking good. And I'm really just filling them in. I don't want to use too much product on my brows for this look. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and carve my eyebrows out with some concealer. And you guys know, when your eyebrows are looking a mess, you cannot skip this step like at all. This is going to fool everybody and make them think that your eyebrows are actually done and they're not. And I'm not going to carve the top of my brows out just because I feel like this gives our eyebrows more of a natural look more than that sculpted look. So right now I'm going to go in and take my beauty blender and we're going to blend the concealer on our eyelids. So I am going to be going in with the Sweetie and Morphe 24A Artist Pass Palette. Um just got this I used this in my last recent video so I'm just gonna dip into like a very neutral color because we want to keep it very nice and warm I'm gonna take the color desert vibes and I'm just gonna pack this color on my lid And then we're going to dip into Get the Shot and we're going to pack this on our lid. Mm -hmm. 
So next we're gonna go ahead and apply our lashes. Okay, so here are the lashes placed on. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some eyeliner in my waterline. And we're gonna go in with that same color Desert Vibes and we're gonna apply this color on our lower lash line. Now for highlighter, I'm going in with the Milani Strobe Light in the shade Sun Glow. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go ahead and set our face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I feel like this spray allows our face to have some dewiness to it. So that's why I really love using that spray. Okay, so now for lips, I'm going to go in with this dark brown lip liner. And then I'm going to go in with my NARS lip gloss in the shade Turkish Delight. Something that I feel like always goes really well in the springtime is a shimmery or a metallic lip gloss over top of your nude lip. I feel like it tops it off so much. So I'm going to be using the ColourPop I Love Sarahi Ultra Lip Glossy Lip in the shade Atole. And we're just going to dust this on top. Do you guys see that? That's so pretty. Alrighty love, so that pretty much completes this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope you all also learned from this video. I made a mistake while I was doing my makeup, but you know, I just kept going. And I know that, you know, sometimes when you do your makeup and you make a mistake, you just feel like giving up and just not going through with the look. But just take a minute, take a breath, and just continue to move forward with the look. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and I'm going to start doing an emoji per video. So this is something so that we can continue to interact with each other in the comment section down below. So I want you guys to comment the sunflower emoji if you have made it this far through the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support always, and don't forget to also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to your girl's channel. And before we go, today's motivational quote is, if 2020 is telling you anything, it's telling you to enjoy the moments you have and don't take any day, anyone, or anything for granted. And with that being said, I'll see you loves in my next video. Bye.